All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So we are mere days away from the start of this year's thank you celebration on global. And the question that comes up every single time for these big campaigns is how many free to play stones can we expect to get? Now, obviously the campaign hasn't happened yet and I don't know exactly which events they're gonna give us and how many stones those events will provide. So it's impossible for me to give you guys an exact number, but what I can do is use last year's thank you celebration as a reference and go through the different events, see which ones we can expect to get again, uh, what kind of social media campaigns, all that stuff, and provide you guys with a rough estimate of the uh, total stone count. Okay, so if that sounds good to you, and keep watching. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it and uh, see what's going on. So last year's campaign was broken out into three different parts. We had a part one, part two, and also the uh, countdown to the thank you celebration, which obviously is going on right now. And for the countdown, there weren't any free stones. It was just the uh, tickets from the missions as well as the login bonus. So there's nothing to really look at there. But starting with part one, we're obviously starting with a login bonus. Now last year, for the first login, we got 30 dragon stones right off the bat. And then after that, it was two stones per day for the entire campaign. Now the campaign was 27 days in total, or sorry, 28 days in total, but obviously you're not counting the first day where we got the 30 stones. So for the next 27 days, it was two stones per day, 27 times two, that's 54 plus the 30, that's gonna be 84 stones in total from just the login. And since we have no idea what's gonna happen for this year's celebration, we can just assume that it's also gonna be a similar amount of stones. So for the login bonus, we're starting with 84 stones. And then we have some special missions. They're of course broken down into part one missions and part two missions. In part one, there were 22 stones available. In part two, there were 26 for a total of 48. Once again, we're gonna assume that this year is gonna be very similar, so 48 stones. For special missions and then we can just scroll down through all of these things because obviously they're not giving us any free stones and uh, we had a legendary campaign last year for the LR trunks but unfortunately we're not missing any legendary campaigns from JP at the moment so I don't expect us to get a new legendary campaign for this year's thank you celebration although they could surprise us and give us like a global first legendary campaign for either LR Great Sam and 1 and 2 or LR Krillin, there's always a chance, but it's very unlikely, so we're just gonna ignore this and uh, move on down to the next source of stones, which of course would be the token events for the Dual Dokkan Fest unit, and for this year it's gonna be the uh, Tech Boo and Int Gotenks, right? So two stones per stage for a total of four stones right there. And uh, moving on from there, uh, there was a new boss rush stage for last year, but once again, we're not missing any boss rush stages from JP this time around, so uh, I don't expect us to get any new boss rush stages either. Although, last year, Explosive Chain Battle wasn't a thing yet, so we should be getting a new Explosive Chain Battle uh, boss at some point during the celebration. Most likely in part 2 of the celebration though, since the legendary Super Saiyan Broly boss just left about 2 weeks ago, and this time around, I'm expecting us to get the Super Saiyan God Goku as the new boss, although it could also be the Golden Frieza or um, base Goku that JP recently got. So we'll see, but regardless of what the boss actually is, we should be getting about 20 stones for the new explosive chain battle boss. And uh, from there, we're also going to be getting a new virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash since the current one is about to expire, and that usually is about 31 stones. And uh, we got a new story event last year. I'm not sure if there are any story events we're currently missing. At least that would make sense for the thank you celebration. So I'm just gonna gloss over this for now and move on to the next thing, which is Super Batter Road. Now, I can't say for sure, but this would be the perfect time for them to finally give us the 10 new Super Batter Road stages that we're missing from the JP side. And I believe it's stages 31 to 40. So if that's the case, then that's 10 new stages, 5 stones per stage for a grand total of 50 more Dragon Stones along with a new Tech LR Goku and Gohan. Once again, this one is 
a little bit more iffy. I can't really say it with too much confidence, but I think there's a good chance. Okay, so after that, we have a few other things just like story events and other events coming back. The restoration time of reward boost was reduced by 50%. Obviously not related to Dragonstones, but um, it was awesome. So I hope this comes back as well. And uh, also quadruple rank EXP and uh, some golden weekend missions. Okay, so this is Dragonstones. And last year we got 16 stones in total from the golden weekend missions. So I put 16 here as well for this year. And that pretty much concludes part one. Now there were some uh, social media campaigns. I think there was one for part one and a different one for part two. And uh, I'll quickly show you guys what that looked like. So the first campaign was the uh, Make a Wish to Super Shenron event. And then we had a Fight Against the Masu event. And uh, I think that was it. So I believe the Super Shenron one was for part one and the Zamasu fight was part two and in total we got uh, let's see 50 dragon stones roughly 50 dragon stones combined from both campaigns so uh, while I don't know what kind of campaigns we'll get this year I don't think it really matters at the end of the day I don't think anybody really cares what the format of these social media campaigns is right all that matters is that we get our free stones and that's it so I put 50 stones for possible social media campaigns and uh, now let's take a quick look at part two so in part two it was actually pretty bare last time um, we got a top legendary summon banner with two existing LRs um, same thing might happen this year we'll have to see but I'm hoping we get something a little bit more interesting and we also got a special uh, thank you friend summon banner with uh, the potential to get some you know items and kai's and all that stuff and uh, we didn't get a new friend summon LR. Now it has been a couple years since we got a new friend summon LR, so maybe, just maybe, we might get one for this year, but that's just pure speculation, so I'm not gonna say anything more about that. Um, Extreme Z Battle. So last year we got the EZA for Fizz Goku Black, and uh, this year, of course, I definitely think we're gonna be getting a new Extreme Z Battle, but there's three different possibilities. It could be the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, it could be Kid Buu, or it could finally be Kale and Khalifla. Now my money is on the Kale and Khalifla Extreme Z battle, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was either of the other two 120% leads. And uh, for Extreme Z battles, we usually get around 33 Dragon Stones, 30 for the stages, and then 3 more for missions. So I put down 33 stones for that. And uh, what else do we have here? So we had some uh, story events coming back, nothing too crazy. And another major source of stones was a new world tournament. Now, of course, we just had a world tournament on Global, so we're most likely not getting another one so soon. I guess there's a chance, but I highly doubt it. So we're gonna ignore this. And uh, that was pretty much the celebration, guys. Part one, obviously much more eventful than part two, but that's usually how these campaigns go. And uh, a few other things that were not accounted for here, which uh, could give us some more stones. Uh, number one, we have a dual Dokkan Festival rewarding bonus, which happens for every single dual Dokkan Fest. And that's typically around 20 stones. And then there's top grossing, which, uh, you know, I know a lot of people are not that excited for these banners. And a lot of people have told me they plan to skip. But with that being said, it's still a dual token festival. I still think that a good amount of people are going to be summoning just because there's going to be discounts and tickets and all that stuff. And I do expect us to at least hit top grossing in like three or four regions. You know, the usual suspects like France, US, Hong Kong, Luxembourg, so on and so forth. And as long as we hit top grossing in at least a few regions, we should be getting some top grossing stones. Now for last year, we got 50 stones for only hitting top grossing in four regions so I think that's still in play this year so I put down 50 stones for hitting top grossing for this dual token fest as well and uh, we actually got an additional 20 stones for hitting top grossing in two more regions so 70 stones in total plus the 20 for the uh, dual token festival rewarding bonus so 90 in total I'm not that optimistic about this year's dual token fest so instead of doing 50 plus 20 plus 20 
I just did 50 for top grossing and then 20 for the Dual Toolcon Festival rewarding bonus. And uh, that pretty much accounts for all the various sources of stones that I can personally see us getting for this year's uh, Thank You Celebration. Once again, I have no way of confirming any of this stuff, so I could be really off. This is what you would call an educated guess, okay? So to summarize, for login bonus, we're probably going to get around 84 stones, special missions, 48 stones, 4 for the token events, 20 for a new explosive chain battle boss, 31 for ultimate clash, 50 for the new super battle road stages, 16 for golden weekend missions, 20 for a dual token festival rewarding bonus, 50 for top grossing, 33 for a new extreme sea battle event, and 50 more for a couple of social media campaigns. So you add all that stuff up, and the total that I have here for this year's thank you celebration is 406 free to play dragon stones that we can expect to get throughout the month of November. Now, of course, it could be higher or lower depending on you know, what kind of events we actually get, what kind of campaigns we actually get, and various other factors like, you know, maintenance, compensation, and so on and so forth. But uh, this is my estimate. I think it's going to be pretty close. Over 400 is definitely a safe bet, but probably less than 500. But there you go, guys. For those of you that wanted a rough estimate of the uh, free-to-play stone count for this year's Thank You Celebration, that's what I've got. Hope you guys are excited for uh, November for all the upcoming events. Things should be a little bit more interesting on Global, at least compared to what we've had recently, and December will be even better. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.